Well, this is the Chester DB8 VS lathe on which I make uh, my injection moulding machines, uh, among other things. And it, uh, it belongs to my brother. And it's a reasonably competent hobby lathe, but it does have a problem. It says it's not rated for continuous use, and when I do um, heavy stints of wide bore drilling or boring, um, or turning large diameters, the motor gets very hot, and we have actually blown one motor. If we look inside the housing here, which is where the gearbox is and some other bits and pieces, we can see that the motor, I don't know if you can see, but the motor is mounted in there, I'm just tapping its body with this drill, and there is no cooling. The motor is in fact behind this plate here, it's bolted to this plate with these four Allen keys, and even this plate here gets too hot to touch. And the motor itself is enclosed in this box, and there's no venting in this box either. So, all in all, um, it's a recipe for the motor to get very hot. There is venting in the bottom of the box. Yeah, you can see these vents here. So there's venting at the bottom of the box, but none uh, anywhere else in the box. So it's a one-way hole, and it's at the bottom instead of at the top. So there's nowhere for warm air to escape, which is just crazy stupid. Um, so what I'm planning to do is fit a fan. I've cut a place a hole here to put a computer fan, which will blow against this plate, uh, which is in good thermal contact with the motor. And the hopes is that it will alleviate the problem somewhat. I may take extra measures as time goes on, but we'll see how this goes. So into this hole, or onto the back of this hole, I'll fit this uh, this fan. Actually, I'll go the other way around. And then onto the front of that hole, I'll fit this, which is a 3D printed drill panel, and that'll fit like this on there. A little bit of warping there. Nothing to worry about. Okay, it's on at the front. Just looks like that at the back. That's quite a significant blast. Yeah. Well then that's that for the first attempt, very straightforward approach. Um, there are, as I mentioned earlier, far more aggressive um, and direct um, attempts to solve this which I can make, but they do involve more invasion into the lathe body, so to get in the box which holds the motor involves taking out all of the electronics, which we've done before, but um, I don't want to do that unless I have to. I mean, just putting some vent holes in that box would help with confection, um, but it's not something they've done. You could place a fan in the motor housing itself and get really aggressive with blasting air at the thing, but I was a bit concerned at, at that approach um, about setting up thermal stresses or imbalances which might cause long-term long damage to the thing. And you do have to wonder why why they didn't fit cooling anyway, um, and then they could say it is rated for continuous usage. Anyway, this is plan A. We'll give it a go, see how it uh, works out. I'll make an update video when I've got some results for you. If anyone knows more about this kind of thing than I do, please um, please comment. I'm, I'm very interested and happy to hear from you. And if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.